<laughs> First of all, we have to ask, what was it like to get that call to say it's you? Um, uh, overwhelming. Uh, it was uh, not frightening, just overwhelming. Uh, you, it, it, it felt like just being caught up in a great movement of something that was going on, a movement of the Spirit of God, and, and um, you thought, well, better just go with it, really. <laughs> Is that the best way to cope with it, then? Just go with the flow? <laughs> uh, there's an element of going with the flow, yes. It's, it's, there's also an element of trying to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Uh, and what the flow is, because you can. There's lots of side eddies and and backwaters that you could easily get caught up in. So, within all of that, you obviously must have to think about. Well, what do you, I hope to bring to the role? Have you? What What would you like to bring to the role of Archbishop? Um, I think the key role of the Archbishop is to be a facilitator and catalyst. Um, uh, we don't operate a papal system, and in other words, there's there's very little authority in being Archbishop, um, and it would be a mistake in terms of how the Church of England's worked over the centuries to try and do that. But there is the capacity to bring people together and encourage and build up. And part of that is obviously coming round on your journey of prayer. So why did you choose to come to Norwich first? Oh. Um, uh, the very good reason I spent an awful lot of my childhood in Norfolk and uh, love this part of the world. It's, uh, my wife says when I get up here I become a slightly different person, more relaxed. Um, and so it was an obvious place to start and we're going, um, we're going to Truro on Monday and you know the, the sort of East Anglia and, and the South West both tend quite easily to get forgotten so I wanted to come up here. And what message do you have to the people of the Diocese of Norwich? I think the key thing is um, to remember to be centred on Jesus Christ. Nothing different from what I'm sure Bishop Graham has been saying. But it's, um, uh, it's to be centred on Jesus Christ. That's why we start with prayer. And obviously prayer is very important. You started this journey of prayer. Why was it important to you to come and pray with the people of the Diocese? Uh, because the church praying together and gathering to pray is something that draws other people to faith in Christ. And the way this is being done, which is um, with 24-7, with the cathedral, with all sorts of different ways of prayer, makes it easy for people who might not be regular church just to come in and to find that they come face to face with God.